Right, welcome to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. We're here to talk about some Godzilla versus Kong. I don't know why I'm doing that accent. I've been out. I've been, I've been working on my car today. I got sunstroke. Clearly, apologies. Anyway, we're going to look at Godzilla versus Kong because there's some rumours and rumblings floating around, which we just want to dissect and take a look at. Right? I know you might be looking at the background, going, "Mr. H, things have changed. What's different?" Well, this, this, that's my movie poster. Did you not know I'm making a movie? It's called Black Fields. You can see it right there. It's a production H film. Check out the uh, GoFundMe link down below in the description box. Also, uh, just for curiosity's sake, I'm doing a giveaway, and I've done an update with one of um, like the starting images of the giveaway, which is a weapon, a prop uh, for the film. So check it out. Uh, you can donate five dollars or more. You're in for a chance of winning one. But let's get into this, shall we? So. Godzilla vs. Kong rumours stoke fear that Kong will win and drive fans away from the MonsterVerse. Now, I've done some videos on this before because I I had rightly, rightly and wrongly, I guess, assumed at the time that the deal with Toho was up, right? And it was. It was actually up, okay? Um, and we didn't know Toho's thoughts on uh, renewing the rights deal. Now, obviously, if you don't know, Toho owns Godzilla, that's theirs. They own it. They own the entirety of the monsters that are being used and things like that. Aside from the new creations, which is why Legendary keep making new monsters, because Toho doesn't, they don't have to pay Toho for the rights to use them, which makes sense. Of course, they are Toho's property. Um, and Toho essentially made a deal with Legendary. A lot of people wrongly assume that it's Warner Brothers. It's not. It's Legendary make the film. Um, Warner Brothers kind of co-finance it a little bit and then do the distribution uh, and the deal with Toho was coming up now this was uh, like a year ago I was doing these videos and and I assumed I speculated that actually uh, Kong may be set up as being the leader for the MonsterVerse and the only reason I went there and it's not because I want that to happen but the only reason it seemed to make sense was because Kong is essentially in the public domain right it's something which anyone can use. It's not really owned by anyone. And a lot of people will point to someone who does own the rights to a certain kind of Kong. If you actually look into it, the rights to uh, King Kong and the property of Kong are, are very much like public domain almost by now. So anyone can really use it. And it would make sense that um, Legendary, the MonsterVerse, would, would have like a new mantle to continue if the rights deal wasn't working out with Toho. However, since making those videos, and obviously this person doesn't seem to be aware of this either by the looks of it, uh, is that the the rights, Toho's well happy with what Legendary's been doing. They want it just to continue. They don't care. Last we heard anyway, they're more than happy for this deal to just go on and on and on and on and on. Um, so, you know, at the time, I would say that the speculation was right and it makes sense to speculate on it. Right now, definitely not. Absolutely not, in fact. Um, I, I, I would be very surprised if Toho come out here, you know, balls swinging, going, no, we're taking Godzilla back. Why? Why would they do it? Especially in a post-coronavirus world. That's what you need to look at, right? Um, now, it's not to say that Kong uh, may not, for some baffling reason, get the upper hand and win or anything like that. There's not to say that that might not happen, but I don't think Godzilla is going anywhere. Uh, I think Godzilla is definitely here to stay. And and why why would fans run away from the MonsterVerse just because Kong wins? Surely that's a good setup for another showdown. It's amazing, it's fascinating that you get these kind of articles um, or these like forum posts that are like, oh yeah, no, absolutely, the fans will just hate it and they'll just run away. Why? If he's still alive and he's still around, it just sets it up for a future confrontation where Godzilla can then win. Um, I will say, uh, be a bit dumb if he wins, but you know, whatever. Uh, be a bit dumb if Kong wins. But let's get into it, right? Let's take a look at this article, okay? Uh, Godzilla vs. Kong is a clash of legends, a showdown of titans. I'll leave this link down below, by the way. Everything Legendary's MonsterVerse has been building towards, and we know who the diehards want to win. Godzilla is king in their minds, and they want him to come out on top. Cue everyone going in the comments. What's a, what's a king to a god? Uh, but Kong's been christened a king for decades until Skull Island. As such, while anything can happen and we don't know full details and haven't been given a trailer yet, which we're not going to get anytime soon, calm down. Um, we don't even know if we're continuing with theatrical releases, so they're definitely not going to give a trailer yet. Um, just speculation, there is growing fear that we will see a passing, passing of the torch to Kong. Doubtful. 
if everything that Toho has said is correct, that's what we need to remember. Okay, if, if, if Toho has been honest. Now, a post in the GodzillaMovies.com forum addressed that concern. User Hawk4117 wrote late in May possible spoilers. He heard that Kong will claim victory. Um, so there seems to be substantial rumours that Kong will indeed win the battle against the mighty Godzilla. Uh, although I don't fully believe in all of the latest plot spoiler leaks and rumours, I do find a couple of them with some merit. I'm a big Godzilla fan and believe me, I hate the thought of Kong winning. If this storyline is crowning Kong as the new king of the monsters, then I will be pissed. I may never watch Monsterverse again. That's dumb. Oh no, God's... Oh no. Giant monkey wins. Oh, giant ape wins. Oh, you're never going to watch them again. Why? Come on now. They're still there. Like, it's dependent. If it kills him, then yeah, different. But if he's still alive, who cares? The definitive winner thing is driving me crazy too. Again, if Kong is to win, then the writers better get it right. Because if not, I will totally divorce Monsterverse. <sighs> Calm down. Seriously? You're just acting like a bitch. Uh, he hopes the writers get it right and neither contender dies nor walks away without respect for the other. If Kong is to win, though, I just hope that the writers have it as a good, clean, tough battle where no one is killed or lamed. I assume he means maimed. Uh, and where there will be some kind of a sign or gesture of respect uh, from both of them towards one another after their battle. Now, the thing is, again, if Godzilla doesn't die, who cares? Why would you never, why would you never watch it again? That's super dumb. Um, but anyway, look. So there's been other bits and pieces, right? So Hawk4117 must not know about the tie-in children's book, which is actually titled Sometimes Friends um, Fight, But They Always Make Up After, which says Godzilla and Kong fight but patch things up, which has long been the rumour. I said this will probably end up being a bit of a Batman versus Superman style fight. You know, they'll fight for a little bit, then they'll be friends, and they'll team up against something else. I would imagine that's going to make sense, but I don't know. Um, but I would imagine. Now, we've reported a lot of rumours, some indicating the Kong as a weapon and Godzilla gets new powers, which is all but confirmed. Uh, none says who wins or if the other dies, although we can guess with a fair amount of certainty they will maim each other. Uh, so the, the team up to face a bigger threat is Mecha Godzilla. That's probably not likely. Um, I don't think they team up to face Mecha Godzilla. Everything I've heard, Mecha Godzilla is a very minor part of this storyline, unless they've changed stuff. But, you know, who knows? Um, now, obviously, it is also it also appears to some key sources that they will both team up to face a couple of uh, so-called villain adversaries, such as Mecha Godzilla or and or Mecha Ghidorah. Now, Mecha King Ghidorah was a one-off upgrade that fought Godzilla in Godzilla vs King Ghidorah, a film that greatly altered both Titans' origins. Which is, yeah, there you go, there's a little bit there. Um, there's no hint Mecha King Ghidorah will be in GVK, despite that post-credits tease, uh, and in the last instalment. Now, we saw no Playmates action figures of him among the leaks, and Legendary couldn't keep something that big a secret. Well, they can kind of, and um, they've done pretty well keeping some stuff, you know, a secret here and there. But you know. Basically, like a whole bunch of people are going, ab like going absolutely mental. Um, friend of the channel, Altiri, Altiri, Altiori, Altori. Never know how to pronounce your name, but never mind. They've done some videos, um, you know, basically saying, you know, why is uh, Kong not called King Kong and things like this. Um, and you know, obviously, furthermore, you know, how could you have MonsterVerse in the first place without the Mighty Lizard? Blah 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 blah. At the end of the day, guys, I would say just calm your Tartars. Calm your, you can't see. Um, calm, calm, calm down, because guys, ladies and gents, if Toho is happy with the deal, Legendary are not going to back out of that because they are going to uh, be in this for the long haul. Also, the children's book is not indicative of what's going to happen because obviously they need to aim it for children. They need to somewhat of a childish spin on it. But I, I can't imagine they're going to kill him, you know? And also, like, who, so what? So what if Kong wins? Like, why would you never watch a MonsterVerse movie again? Like, it's lame. Like, I'm a big Godzilla fan, and it would be lame if he wins. And it wouldn't really make any sense unless they really add up some plot armor and things like this. But guys, come on. Like, I'd, I'm still going to be there, front and center, first day. I love a bit of giant monsters floating about. Uh, epic. Give it to me, of course. So anyway, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this down below in the comment section. I've got like another two videos today. Can't remember when I've released this one, but I've got a few videos dropping today. So check them all out. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, take care.